Hello everyone, no clue content here. Today I'm going to be continuing my What If Country Tried to Form an Empire series. Today I'm going to be doing Italy. Suggested by one Sheep Boy 1212. Check out their channel. Anyways, without any further ado, let's get into the video. So to start off the conquest of Italy, they declare war on Slovenia. Since it's their closest neighbor, that's very weak. Anyway, let's get on to it. So Italian forces flood across the border into Slovenia, securing the coast. They capture and encircle some forces of Slovenia. Slovenia didn't have a chance of victory in this war, or even to hold out less than a week. As you can see here in this treaty, all of Slovenia has been annexed into Italy. Anyway, let's get on to the next war. So seeing as Croatia has a lot of land that they want, they declare war on Croatia and Bosnia and Herzegovina. Someone else joins the war on the Italian side, hoping to gain land, Hungary. So Hungary and Italy begin their invasion into Croatia and Bosnia. So in the north, Hungarians flood in, but planning to secure a lot of territory. Meanwhile, the Italians focus in on the coast, linking up with the Hungarians and preparing to destroy Croatia together. The Croatians hold out, attempting to hold as long as possible until someone else joins the war and save them. But with their capital, that's like right here, taken and dropping morale, as well as Hungarians storming in from the north, and their territory being lost fast, as well as the invasion of Bosnia occurring. They fall quickly. Bosnia soon collapses due to overwhelming attack, and so they both lead to surrender. Alright, let's get into the treaty. So as we can see here in this treaty, Croatia and Bosnia have been divided up by Italy and Hungary. Due to the border looking weird, Italy decides to sell some land over to Hungary for a price, so the border now looks normal. With this new land exchange, an alliance is formed due to Hungary now being dark red color. So yeah, the Italians have now a, a larger front line against the Balkans or Austria or Romania or Ukraine or Slovakia or really anyone that they decide to invade. The world is their canvas, as long as they don't try and be too greedy. Meanwhile, the Italians prepare for war with France. France has a large power, so they decide to go south and get some colonies. Remember Libya? Yeah, the Italians want it back. So the Italians decide to go to war with Libya and Tunisia, just to get their stuff back. And since... Tunisia is pretty close to Italy. It's going to be a lot easier to dock any ships. Italians land here. The Italians also land here. They make a good landing here. They land around the city of Tunis, which is very bad. And so let's get to the front line. In the east, the Italians are crushed. Meanwhile, in the center and west, the Italians manage to prosper, expand out, and capture the majority of coastal cities and coast of Libya. Meanwhile, another naval landing in Tunisia occurs, which allows the Italians to flank out and cut Tunisia off from Libya, weakening them even more. And since the majority of their territory is now captured, the, Lib the Tunisians decide to surrender over to Italy. It's just Libya against a growing power, which now has a large foothold to keep invading. They link up their forces over in the coast. Meanwhile, the Italians are still pushing, and now they own the majority of the Libyan coast. Seeing no hope for victory at all, Libya decides to surrender, and a peace treaty will be made. Alrighty, now Libya and Tunisia are a part of Italy. Italy has prepared, and they are fully ready for war with France. I don't know if they will succeed or not, but we'll just have to find out in three, two. One and they're at war. To start off the invasion, the Italians seize Corsica and begin their invasion onto mainland France. Due to the French Alps in the way, they do have hard time pushing in, but eventually they manage to get through the French Alps and they continue into France. They encircle some forces in the south, securing more coast after coast. Seems like a repeat of the last video that I made. So the Italians continue, but eventually French forces are mostly deployed 
And so the Italians begin to move on retreat. The French now outnumber them, so they hold a defensive line and prepare to regroup and push back the French. The French break a hole in their line, which leads to a retreat once more, and the Italians begin rushing their preparations. So they attempt to punch a hole through the French lines. It goes pretty well. They encircle some French forces. They get crushed. The French fall back a little more. And so the front line is this. It eventually buffers out onto here. And everyone begins to stop as trenches are dug and trench warfare begins. So eventually they decide to, eh, why not go for peace? So the Italians offer a peace treaty to France. The French modify it a little bit. And then peace is made. Let's get onto those borders. As we can see here, the Italians got good lands. They got some border territory in Corsica. The Italians wanted something a little more like this border, but the French managed to take that land and keep it. So now the border is that, and the Italians look towards the Balkans. So they plan their invasion of Serbia with their good ally, Hungary, and eventually war is declared. Someone joins the war. Romania joins the war. Seeing to take advantage of a distracted Serbia, Kosovo joins the war. Albania joins the war. Macedonia joins the war. Okay, and Bulgaria joins the war, allied to Serbia. And so now everything is going sporadically out of control more than anyone ever thought. Due to so many more countries joining in on the war than expected, the front line will drastically change throughout the war. Anyway, without any further ado, let's get started. So to start off the invasion, Hungarian and Italian troops initially follow the original plan, except they have to push down, link up with Kosovo, and destroy Montenegro, which slows down their progress in Serbia, allowing for Bulgarian troops and Romanians to arrive. By the way, if you're wondering why Hungary changed colors, because I made the mistake of turning them dark red, which every time that I tried to change their color didn't work, and any time that I tried to make an invasion occur of them, it colored the border in two. So I had to redraw all of this from memory. So yeah, if it looks off, sorry. Anyway, back to the war. So Bulgarian troops flood into Macedonia capturing some of Kosovo, pushing back the forces. Can they win? Maybe. So we have the Romanians pushing across the border into Hungary, planning to quickly capture Budapest and then secure a Hungarian surrender, which should make Italy sue for pieces. Then Italian reinforcements arrive, push back the Romanians, hold them, and then the border stabilizes there. Meanwhile, the Serbians continue to be pushed back. Belgrade is captured, leading to Serbian surrender. So yeah, that is no good. That is no good. Quickly, they storm into some territories to secure supply lines to their forces. A mass retreat begins due to the possible encirclement being high. They push down, nearing the encirclement, bleeding into Bulgaria, securing more and more and more and more land. Eventually, the encirclement is closed, which leads to a very, very bad time for the guys that didn't make it out in time. They're going to get either shot and killed. Anyway, so they push in, killing millions of soldiers. Eventually, most surrender as the eventual collapse of the Serbian front line leads to pushing to Bulgaria, the securing of Sofia. Bulgaria opts to sue for peace backing down their claims on Macedonia, saying, sorry, so sorry, uh, we'll leave. That leaves only Romania, which also decides to stay on. They think, man, we got this. How hard can it be? Serbia was weak. We're the strongest member out of here. Uh-oh. Uh the fall of Bucharest. <laughs> Alrighty, Romania decides, eh, let's give up. So as we can see here, Serbia and Romania have been completely had their teeth kicked in. The majority of Serbia has either been taken over by Italy or Hungary. They now have to respect Kosovo's independence and they gave up some land to it. Bulgaria lost some little lands to Macedonia. Romania lost about Transylvania. And so now these are the borders of Europe. The contenders of the war now are just 
Hungary and Italy. They're the allies. Kosovo isn't interested in allying with Italy, neither is Albania nor Macedonia. They simply joined in because they hated Serbia. B Macedonia hated Bulgaria. Romania didn't want Hungary to expand, which they just shot themselves in the foot by doing that. Anyway, so this wraps up my video here. I hope y'all enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you did. See y'all in the next video. No Clue is out!